karma's a bitch, and he's gonna get what he deserves. The Family Chantel is back for its final season, and viewers are getting to see the aftermath of Pedro and Chantel's split. Chantel is living with her sister, Winter, and they have two adorable dogs, but she's still reeling from her breakup from Pedro. The last nine months going through this divorce has been the hardest time of my life. Didn't want to eat. I stopped going out. I've had more bad days than good. Days when it really hits me hard that my marriage is over. Who needs men when you can have a puppy? I already oh, got I, I already got it. one bitch. I don't need another <laughs> one. In nine months, I haven't spoken a word to my ex or even heard a thing from him. It's insane to me that after being married for seven years, someone could just cut me off completely. Pedro shared his side of the story and revealed why he cut off contact with her, saying it was for legal reasons. My lawyer say cut any communication with her because she can use any that I say in court against me. What's weird is stop to talk with somebody you had relation for seven years, but I had to do it. I had to protect myself. In past seasons, viewers have seen Pedro not get along with Chantel's family, including her mom, Karen. But now, Chantel is thinking that maybe her mom was right all along. My mom said it from day one, that Pedro and his family were out to get me, that he was using me for a green card, and that he didn't love me. But I chose to trust my husband and to go with my naive gut because I loved him. And in the end, joke's on me, because everything that my mom said was true. Now, this divorce seems like it's been pretty messy. Pedro claims Chantel stole $60,000 from their joint bank account, but she says that's all a lie. He was trying to say that I stole money, but no, I didn't. I did take money out of the account but I was using that money for our divorce and the bills of the house, and then I gave the rest to the registry of the court. Initially, I took all of the money because I didn't know what he was capable of. And I'm like, I need to take this money out before Pedro runs off to the Dominican Republic somewhere and hides it. Pedro also claims that she tried to get him deported since they broke up. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's bullshit. She spent 60000 and tried to get me the porter. I know she until open a case to immigration because I got some letters by the government a couple of times. She even talked with immigration, say, you know, the whole Mary was a scam. Later on, Chantel was driving to see her lawyer after finding out that Pedro agreed to their divorce settlement, and she broke down in tears, imagining the life that they could have had together. I thought that we were going to have kids and they were going to go to soccer together and that we were going to be like, you know, mom friends. I know. I wanted kids so bad, you know. But Chantel is ready to move on with her life, so she signed those papers saying she's ready to split everything 50-50. To be signing divorce papers is just like, I never would have imagined this day in a thousand years. Well, congratulations, you're done. Yay! <laughs> After finalizing their divorce, Chantel met up with her family to celebrate, and her parents were super happy that things are finally over between her and Pedro. He and his family devised a plan to get an American woman, get them to marry, and to bring him to the United States of America so that he can gain access to the American economy. Then he can, therefore, bring his entire family up off of one woman, one strong woman, I must yes. say, off of Chantel. But there is a power stronger than he that he knows not of yet, but he will. Alas, he will. Now, while they're happy about things being done with the couple, they are not happy about that 50-50 settlement. I wish I could have been you because that boy wouldn't have got nothing. I told her, no, do not settle. Take him to court. 
You should have taken that scammer to court because you should have gotten alimony and the house. How dare he come in and tell you, I'm going to divorce and I want the house. How dare he? How dare he? Chantel broke the news to her fam that she has to see Pedro again in order to sell their house. And she isn't looking forward to the reunion. I don't know how I'm going to handle it when I see him. It's been nine months since I saw Pedro last, and I'm really unpredictable right now with my emotions. I don't know if it's going to make me miss him and the good times, or if I'm going to rehash all of the bad memories of the end of our marriage. I'm worried. I'm worried about doing something that I'm going to regret later. Pedro is also nervous about seeing Chantel for the first time in nine months because he isn't sure how things will go. I ain't really scared about I see Chantel again, you know, because she had a lot of anger towards me, you know. Um, I'm a little nervous, you know, because sometimes she had that double personality, and that's why I always I had to keep my guard up and any moment that we were here because I don't know if she's going to, you know, switch it out to be, you know, that kind of person. While on her way to meet the realtor and Pedro, Chantel shared her suspicions that Pedro might have been cheating on her, but he says that that isn't true. I had suspicions that Pedro was cheating on me last year with multiple women, but I don't know. He could have been cheating on me the whole time. Were you cheating on Chantel? No, I know I cheated on Chantel. I never cheated on Chantel. Nah, it's not true. Now they finally come face to face and things were tense. So I understand you guys are selling the house. You are unfortunately getting divorced. We know. Oh, we, we're we, already divorced. We are already divorced, yes. Okay. Thanks, okay. God. OK, so you are ready to wash your hands of this house. Uh -huh. yeah, I Quick see. split. After not seeing him for nine months, he's been out of sight and out of mind. But seeing him, um, really was just a reminder of how badly I was treated. Pedro even mentioned that he wanted to get his chair from the house, but Chantel was not having it. I'm so, did you hear something? <laughs> um, I'll let you guys handle that one. Pedro mentions picking up his gaming chair. It's his favorite gaming chair. But according to the terms in the divorce, Everything inside the house, all of the furnishings, belong to me, and they're mine now. So there's no chance he's getting that gaming chair. The episode ended on a dramatic note, with Chantel complaining about how Pedro is acting. It's going to be so hard to sell this house with Pedro because he's already being a dick. I should have taken him to court, bled him for every penny, and sent him packing back to the Dominican Republic.